All right, uh, back to Pastor Hagee. Why do you think that these blood moons in 2014 and 2015 are in fact significant? I think they are significant because uh, only God can cause the sun, the moon, uh, and the earth to get in a direct alignment to produce a blood moon. And secondly, these four blood moons are occurring on a date certain. This is why I think he's dead wrong. Uh, these are exceptional blood moons because the date of Passover and Sukkot, or Feast of Tabernacles, was established by God in the Bible thousands of years ago. Now we have four blood moons occurring on an exact date. That's not happenstance. That's a divine act of God. All right, and David, I want to bring you in this. Now, uh, as far as the, the blood moon discussion goes, you're a historian. Knowing what you know about history, and what does this tell us, and what does it tell you as, a, as an historian, if anything, about Israel and why this should matter to us here in America? Well, from my perspective, Israel and its, its position is much more biblically established than it is through, through any of the acts of nature. So as a biblical Christian, I say, hey, I've got a very definite responsibility to honor Israel as a nation, to honor the Jewish people, regardless of what happens in the skies or out of the skies or anywhere else, I've got that biblical mandate. I'm also commanded to honor my parents, and as Christians, we're taught in Hebrews, in Romans 11, that we as Christians really are the branches on the roots. So like my parents, I'm supposed to...